video. Today we're going to meet KC. When we do the tour, you're going to see the best thing about it is it is super cheap and super easy. Yeah. Because you didn't have much time. No, I had two weeks. So this is, I can't really say it's a build out. It's more like a put things in it. So. I'm a total believer in that and I recommend it to everyone. Okay, well we'll take a quick tour around the van, then we'll go inside the van and you'll know a little more about it. Let's do that now. So let's, we'll start here at the back of the van and you've done some unusual things already here. Go ahead and tell us what you've done. Okay, so we already did a video on the fantastic van being put in the rear window of the van. Um, so since that video, I've painted the metal white and I've put on a cover. Uh, for the fantastic fans. So I really appreciated everyone's suggestions. They were excellent. So yeah, I have a fantastic fan in the back. And up on the above us now, you'll see a uh, eye. You can click on that and see that video. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what else have you done back here? Okay. Uh, we just shot a video um, putting installing perforated vinyl. I had previously had black perforated vinyl back here. Uh, perforated vinyl is one way. You can not see in, but you can see out. So we'll show you that from the inside as well. And also your solar back here. Okay, so um, I have the wires coming in for my solar and uh, they come in at that corner there. This is 305 watts. I went to Arizona, Northern Arizona Wind and Sun in Flagstaff and uh, James was the salesman, and I have a 600 watt inverter and a charge controller, and I also installed a battery isolator, which we'll show you inside. And I have uh, 250, um, I have two golf cart batteries, 250 amp hours. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll, I'll second that. I think that Northern Arizona Wind and Sun is one of the very best places to get your solar. So um, on the Fantastic Fan, here's the inside of the Fantastic Fan. And I usually just keep it open because now it has a cover on it. Um, and I painted it white. So it looks a little bit better than Very it nice. did in the yeah. last video. And uh, on the inside of this window, this is what the interior looks like of the perforated vinyl. Uh, where you can see out perfectly, but you can't see in at all. Then this is just a shelf unit that I have in the back. And uh, this set of drawers faces in for my little office back here. And this is my garage. <laughs> my garage is just two drawers. <laughs> now we should say now, this is the base of your bed. Yeah, this is the base of my bed. And I have some wood on here that pulls out, which we'll show you from the inside. And this is just all, all tools, extension cords, power tools, stuff like that. So as we go through, we're going to see other than the desk, everything is just something you, well, is something you bought and threw in here. So you needed a base for your bed and you just went and bought a bunch of these two drawer cabinets and laid them, set them down. Right. Well, this was a two drawer cabinet. Um, I only wanted drawers that were on rollers so that they were easy and they weren't going to like get stuck from pressure on top of it. Um, so this was actually part of a three drawer I bought three three drawer uh, pieces that I had to actually break apart into two sets, which I'll show you, because they were the more heavy duty ones on the rollers for the drawers. So um, I'll show you inside what I mean. Yeah. yeah, but that gives you an image that no building the bed, no frame, no nothing, just uh, plastic drawers and the bed set on top of it. Yeah. Really, really clever. Okay, and uh, you just had that uh, drawer piece, the uh, shelf piece, just happened to fit perfectly. I mean, it looks like it was, looks like it was made for it. Yeah, I did actually a lot of searching for this at like home goods stores um, and places like that uh, because, ironic. I mean, yeah, it did just fit perfect. The, I would measure. I'd bring in my tape to the home goods stores and just measure. I knew this was perfect at the bottom, and as it turns out, it it angles and uh, it fits perfectly uh, with the fantastic fan when the door is shut so yeah. it worked out, worked out well yeah just luck this is the dog bed or where the dogs sleep <laughs> gotta have a dog bed yeah <laughs> okay let's go ahead and go on inside then okay so everyone now we're going to go inside and uh, see casey's really nice super cheap super easy build right away you'll see it's 
plastic drawers and plastic drawers. <laughs> really simple, yeah. really cheap, really easy. And we have high top. <laughs> yeah, high top. So you're standing full height. Yeah, so I'm standing full height. I'm 5'6", so I think this is 5'7". Um, and it has these um, windows here, which I really like. I do too, yeah. Yeah. And that way I get a lot of natural light, and I don't have to use as much of my light off the solar panel. Right. Uh, and you're 5'6", I'm 5'8", and my head doesn't touch. Oh, okay, good. And this is a fairly low high top. These are more commonly called, I think, turtle tops, because they're not really the right. high high tops. Yeah, it's not. But it's still really great for you. It is great. In fact, this is storage, and of course behind you is storage, so you only have walking distance in the center. Mm -hmm. It was a custom interior that was done before I bought it, so I didn't have a lot of width here. Even when I measured the the largest width in the center was only 5 feet 4 inches, and I could not put my bed across. Like, I tried it, <laughs> and I was just too cramped, so I had to figure out how to do it without being able to do that, which right. is kind of a bummer. <laughs> right. But this works fine. This works great for you, doesn't it? Yeah, this works great. So the main focus of the van was to have a desk and right. be able to sit and work at a regular size desk. And this desk is 41 inches long and about 20 inches wide. So it's, it's a pretty big desk and I'm really happy with that. There are a lot of digital nomads now that really just, you know, they work from their van and they just kind of have to have a place to work. And now you've got a great one. Yeah. Yeah. So this yep. is great. And I just keep a power station here for USB and regular plugins. And, uh, you know, this just works great for me. Um, this whole drawer set is just for office stuff, which is why I turned it around instead of having it out towards the back of the van. And then you asked me how many of these two drawers it took for the bed. And so there's four here. And I had split um, these three <laughs> um, into two drawer sets. They came in three drawer sets. So I just have my clothes in here and I I put these on to lock the drawers so they don't uh, open. Just a there. couple of uh, screw eye hooks, one top, one bottom, and a dowel that goes through it and it can't open. Right, yeah. I had seen this done in another van and it was a dresser handle They and they did a flat piece of wood and I thought that was such a cool idea. They put a, like a drawer handle up here and down there with a flat piece of wood and so the way that this opens is you just come up with it and then you can even turn that and it comes out so it was really handy and you just got to get it back in the thing. Yeah so these are heavy duty um, they're made by Sterilite you can get them on Amazon or at Walmart and they have rolling drawers so everything in here the, all the drawers are on rollers which I prefer right and your friend had the idea to just paint paint these the trim white so I just did that to kind of brighten it up and then um, this stool has a box inside it that I use to put a lot of stuff in because it's not a storage ottoman so I kind of made it one by just putting a little wood box in there so I feel like it's kind of roomy um, and I have a huge drawer here for the desk oh yeah let me see that yeah so that's what I wanted I wanted just to be able to have a lot of things at my fingertips in a drawer um, you got it that's just, a nice drawer yeah <laughs> and you got two pups yeah I've got two Two puppies, um, Tonka and Kona, and uh, they're pretty cool. Their size is perfect for a van. <laughs> two, you know, yeah. the two of them are smaller than my Cody, who has to be in the middle of things too. Don't yeah. you, Code? So I'll show you the bed. This is that blue cooling gel um, mattress pad that's just folded in half, and then I keep wood so that I can push it over the wheel well so I keep a piece of wood that I can and then and then I can have storage here and I store our um, the shelter that we travel with a pop-up shelter that we work in um, it fits in here perfectly uh, the clam yeah the clam shell mm -hmm. so yeah. we have a video on the clam shell and that's where you uh, hide it yeah in over the wheel well 
The wheel wells are a big deal, aren't they? They're what a lot of us struggle with. Yes, and I had to think about that because it was almost like things could not go anywhere else except for where they are. These fit perfectly. Then I have a huge wheel well under the desk. And then I had a wheel well here and I had to figure out, you know, these can't push flat against the wall. So I just put the wood pieces in so that the bed can sit flat. Um, so it's like a little storage area. So a desk is perfect for over a wheel well. That's good for people to be thinking about. Yeah. And uh, the individual drawers, two drawer units, work, allow you to work around the wheel well equally well. Right. So then I have this piece of wood that just comes out a little bit. And when I sleep, I just put the bed down flat like that. And I move their dog bed over a little bit. <laughs> and, and it's super comfortable, I think. It's about all I need. But I know people are going to say that I should have gotten the four inch foam and then cut it into two cushions. But what I like about this is that I can I can move it to be way up here or, you know, have it lower. I don't know. It just works for me. I don't. It becomes a couch in essence. Yeah, it's just really easy to deal with. It's just ideal. You've got your workspace, plenty of sh uh, storage, plenty of shelving and nothing other. There's some screwing into the desk. Other than that, there is no construction. This is a no construction zone. Yeah, this is, I just didn't have the time um, or the skills to create a build out. I had 10 days, including buying the van. So this is what I did in 10 days. That includes getting the fan put in and getting the solar put on and furnishing it. So it was a really fast, I mean, that's why you know it's not a build out it's just a put in it's a wonderful home <laughs> you know i i you know we traveled together uh my me and my van you and yours and i can testify this is a wonderful home thank you yeah okay i have to ask you this is uh rules of uh of van dwelling i have to ask you how do you go how do you take a shower so um on the front seat i just keep one of these water coolers and um and I have these bowls and I just wash my hands here or fill up a bowl and and do a, what do they call that? <laughs> a, sponge bath. A sponge bath, yeah. And I just keep this in here for cleaning my nails and stuff. Um, so I have a couple bowls that I use for washing up. And then um, I don't use like a, a shower pump or something like that. Um, I just do the best I can and then I shower. I can shower in town at gyms or um, go swimming, stuff when, like that. Where we are now, we're near a lake. Yeah, so actually I did go, I went swimming in the lake. <laughs> and so that was how I, I got clean this week. Oh, we got to tell us how you go to the bathroom. Oh, right. Okay. These are the rules. I, okay, can't, so, I don't make them up. Yeah, so bucket just like anybody else. <laughs> just the standard bucket method. Yes, yes. Okay, and now, yeah, show us what you're sitting on. Okay, so this is a winter 65 quart, um, 65 quart refrigerator with a digital, um, where you can change it, the temperature here digitally. Um, I keep it at 44, which has been fine. And then um, I keep some Reflectix on top of it. And um, I'll probably build a little Reflectix box for it. That's um, actually a video we're planning on doing very soon. Yeah. The reason the fridge is so big and everyone says, oh my God, the fridge is so big. Um, <laughs> it's 65 quart, if memory serves. 65 quart, yeah. I mean, it's huge. It's bigger than most what most people have in their van. Um, I love to go to farmer's markets. I go to the farmer's market every single week. And I just fill it up from one trip to the farmer's market. So I can bring as much fresh food with us as possible. The winter has a pretty thick wall around it. And it is one of the best made fridges I've ever seen. Yeah, I really like it. Yes. It's pretty quiet. So I took the front seat out and uh, put the fridge in. And that's kind of a tough decision when you unbolt the seat. And especially if you don't have a storage unit and you're going to just get rid of it. Or <laughs> yeah. And, it's um, tough when the, you give it to a guy and he drives away with it. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really tough decision because the seat was like in brand new condition. 
but I knew from having a minivan I really liked it without the front seat. It gives me a lot more space. Oh, well actually I was going to point this out. I used this Best Tech inverter uh, when I was living in minivans the whole time. And this was like the best thing ever because you can plug your computer in and right now I have this fan plugged into it. So um, I just really highly recommend this Best Tech 300 watt power inverter for people who are in minivans who don't have solar or, or if you're in anything and you don't have solar. Um, I could keep my, and this isn't even on, the fan's running just plugged into the USB, but when it comes on, there's a green light. So in the back is the charge controller. Uh, it's an MPPT uh, Morningstar charge controller. Um, this is a Samlex 600 watt power inverter. In the back on the floor under the charge controller, which it's hard to see it, um, but I have a Stinger SGP32 200 amp battery relay isolator and that is hooked up to my battery in the van it's better to do it to the solenoid which i now know but that keeps my batteries charged um i wonder if i can point to it it's back there is the isolator so the isolator in my van is actually inside the van with the cord running under the floorboards to the to, into the engine to the battery so you uh, had a um, the professionals at Northern Arizona Wind and Sun install your system, 305 watts, and how's that worked for you? Fantastic. And the 305 watts has been enough for you? Plenty. 305 watts run, runs the fridge, runs the fan, runs the fan, the portable fan, the fantastic fan, all the computer stuff, um, and the lights. And that's pretty much all I run. Okay, I think we pretty well covered it. I love that you did it without really a build without a build. Yeah. Uh, super cheap, super easy, super fast. Yeah. And and have you figured out about what you have in the build, not including the solar or the fridge? Um, the the most expensive thing was probably that bed. So I I would guess between four to five hundred total with yeah. everything and the desk and everything. Right. Where did you get the desk? Uh, at the Home Goods store in uh, Medford. Right. It was the only thing you really had to do any construction with. Yeah, that was the only thing. So two screws. Uh, and then I pre-drilled these holes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that that's it for um, carpentry. <laughs> <laughs> no carpenter. <laughs> this is the non-build. Folks, I just think you can learn so much from this. It doesn't take much to make a van livable. Not much money, not much skill, not much time. You can do it. Yes, absolutely. Okay, folks, thanks so much for joining us. I hope you got something out of us. Thank you, KC, for sharing your home with us. I really appreciate it. If you got anything out of this, folks, uh, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you.